put any kind of bullet in a Sabo and it's going to, you know, you could this the si- here's what I'm trying to say here. You can I know <laughs> what you're trying to say. Why don't you explain it for the people that are listening? <laughs> <laughs> you can put like you could use a variety of bullets in a Sabo. So it's like that when I for the best Sabo bullet, I wanted to choose um the the Sabo that I like the most. And I think that the Traditions uses a really good Sabo. So you can pick your bullets and you can pick your Sabos, but you can't pick your Sabos bullets. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. You're listening to the Muzzle Loaders Podcast the show where we talk about anything and everything black powder how's it going guys it's darren with muzzleloaders.com podcast and today we have nate savage back Howdy. by popular demand <laughs> pleasure, pleasure to be here pleasure to have you pleasure on be here. <laughs> um and last time we had nate on which was uh, i guess back in november sometime maybe december a minute yeah it's been a while been months uh it's, it's june just for the case you guys weren't aware today is actually the first day of summer the summer Ooh. solstice. Wow. June 21st. Um, but last time we had Nate on, we were talking about guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> and we were discussing muzzleloaders. Uh, basically, we had we chose separately, as we did today, no cheating. Yeah. Um, we chose right separately guns in various categories, like best traditional, best inline, best long range, all that kind of stuff. And... Um, we had to argue against each other, like why we chose the guns that we chose. And we decided that, you know, it's been a while since we've done anything bullet related on the podcast, um, on the podcast. I think the last time we talked about bullets was like on episode five or episode eight. Mm. So it's been since 2021, since we talked about bullets on this podcast, Oof. it's a long time ago. So we're going to do similar to what we did with the guns, but we're going to do it with bullets. So he and I have gone separate, our separate ways and we have, come up with a list of bullets winners for each of these categories here are the categories so we have best long range bullet best deer hunting bullet best elk hunting bullet best sabotage bullet best full bore conical best northwest legal and finally best overall bullet so one bullet one ring to rule them all <laughs> um so we're gonna work our way down through these categories some of these may be the same the stipulation that we gave each other for this was there can only be like one bullet can't win multiple categories mm-hmm. um, because there's some bullets that arguably could win a few different categories. Absolutely. And so it's like we, we in order to kind of spread things out and for challenging of thought um, and maybe to share something new with you guys that you didn't know before, we only have one winner per ca- per category except for best overall, which is chosen from the winners of the previous categories. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in, Nate. Uh, I know you're dying. To Ooh, start talking. I'm going to have a ton of disclaimers on <laughs> mine. It's like <laughs> the, so many disclaimers. The first thing I want to talk about that Nate and I discussed just barely pre-show here is mm, yeah. we want to talk about Harvester. Um, yeah, Harvester. Mm-hmm. I had, had, a, <laughs> had a brain fart there for a second. I was like, wait, because in the last podcast I recorded with Hunter a few minutes ago, instead of draft, I said rafters. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> wait, what? So I want to make sure I'm speaking clearly. Building a house? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, so... The harvester bullets, they're kind of a new product for us. I know mm-hmm. and they've been super popular with our customers and our listeners, and that they're we care, started carrying them because of popular demand. Mm-hmm. But we haven't had much of a chance to test them, which maybe that's something we could possibly do a video tomorrow. Um, Nate, this is the first Nate's hearing about this, so uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> we could make so we're gonna try and get more content for you guys, but for the sake of this video, this this is gonna be Nate and I's opinions based on our experience, which is pretty grandiose. Like we have, you know, we've shot quite a few different muzzleloader bullets out of quite a few different guns, but Harvester are ones that we don't have much experience with yet. So, arguably thousands of bullets. Yes, <laughs> uh, very possibly. Um, so. Don't be irked by the lack of Harvester on this list. It is not anything against Harvester. It is strictly because um, I we haven't we don't have the experience with them yet. Or so. if you have a difference in opinion, that's fine. This is America. You can do that. But if you disagree with me, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the American way. That's right. <laughs> so, 
Um, let's go ahead and get rolling. So we got uh, just best. a good opportunity to comment, though, right? Like exactly. If they disagree. We can yeah start up a conversation. I want to hear about it. But keep Darren doesn't respond to, to those, but you know <laughs> somebody might. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, huh, yeah. Um, so best long range bullet, Nate. Uh, why don't you say first? I want to hear your opinion first on this. Well, one. this is again disclaimer central here. I think that all yeah. this is going to be yeah. subjective. Um, and I try not to take my own personal feelings into account when I do these kind of when things. When giving your own opinion. Yeah. When I'm giving my own opinion, I try not to take my own personal <laughs> opinion into account. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go with the ELDX bullet. Really? And oh, we don't, man. we do not have a ton of time with those. And so it's very shocked. brave. Shocked. For me. No, you're not shocked. I, like I'm Nate's a, li- a Hornady fanboy. <laughs> I'm a little shocked. <laughs> a little shocked. Uh, go ahead. Explain. Explain. Um, but in the small amount of time, and you haven't had any experience with it, so I'm not surprised True. if you didn't pick this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a few reasons why. Obviously, we don't know what terminal performance is going to be like yet. Yet. Um, it's coming soon. Yet, yes. Stay tuned. But. I am positive that Hornady does a very good job of taking that into account and based off of the design of the bullet. And um, I'm obviously not a ballistician, but do a lot of competition shooting. So I've grown pretty accustomed to what bullets look like and how they're going to react. Mm-hmm. I think that it's going to do a great job ballistically. Um, it is the only, and correct me if I'm wrong, boat tail muzzleloader bullet that I am aware of. I think you're right. Other than, other than like specialty bullets yeah. out there, obviously hand lathe. There's a bunch of companies out there that are super, super specific. But I'm talking on a mass. Like you can go. Yeah, buy I think these. you're right. I, I think, think this right. is the only boat tail mass produced, at mass least. produced muzzle loader bullet um, that you can buy, which is for me a huge deal when I'm looking at best long range mm-hmm. bullet because it's going to have the BC that I'm looking for for that distance. Yeah. So, given that said. What did you choose? So I went tried and true. ELR power. Ah, I knew like, you were gonna say it. I knew it. I knew <laughs> tried it. and true. Like the thing is, the thing is, when the ELR came out, and even up until last year, I had my uh, reservations with regard mm-hmm, to its mm-hmm. performance. And then, really, what sold me on the ELR fully, because uh, I only knew I was when knew we it was shot a thousand yards. Well, when I we mean, did the ballistic test, yeah. See, you've got more experience with that <laughs> yes. bullet. I think it's unfair. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing is, experience. I think experience matters. You know, it's I like, do too. But these ELDXs haven't really been. Te- I now the ELDX I did put as my runner-up because mm-hmm. I think the ELDX could potentially take its place. Mm-hmm. You know, but I want to see the evidence first. Yeah. You know, and like you said, I only have pretty much your knowledge to go off of yeah. because you guys filmed that video when I was not there. So, uh-huh. um. We'll see tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna go out. We're gonna shoot the ELDX, and we're actually gonna get to see, Lord willing, what it performs like, and I'll be able to see it firsthand. So, uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think for the time being, I went with the safe choice. We went with the ELR. Um, you know, you just really can't go wrong with that bullet. Well, I the think, impressive so. thing for me too on the ELDX was we were able to get a three shot zero, mm-hmm. and I mean a one inch group at a hundred yards. Yeah, and. If it wasn't for the 50 caliber being so big around, it'd have been a smaller group. Yeah. And then in two shots, we were able to hit the gong at 350, and we could have hit it in one shot had mm-hmm. we, you know, just been able to know where we were hitting the first two shots. Mm-hmm. But and I, yeah, I if it performs anything remotely close to what the board driver FTX performs, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm gonna be yeah, those over are the one moon. Hole. So yeah, I mean too. that bullet I do have experience with, and mm-hmm. it is phenomenal. Yeah. So, um, let's go ahead and move on. Speaking of best deer sure. hunting bullet, why don't you go first this time? Well, it's the board driver FTX. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was like, so, I was like, oh man, if he did, uh, yeah, go ahead. I think the the Hornady board driver FTX for me, like when it first came out, we did some testing with it. We got like a half inch group at hundred yards, mm-hmm. which is nutty. Yep. And then um, we tested it ballistically last year, and it was excellent. Um, the only thing huge that, energy dump, yes, huge like just energy dump right away. I mean, just explosion. Which is what you want for deer. Yes, yep. Um, so I think for deer hunting, the board driver it is like the bee's knees. Um, I had a couple runner ups on this mm-hmm. one. I feel like deer hunting bullets. There's a lot of them because hunting deer is so popular. Um, Powerwell Aerolite 
Mm-hmm. That is tr- yep. that's like the tried and true. Oh, absolutely. Like we sell more Powerbelt Aerolites, or at least we did when I was you know here all the time, th- and, and than like any other bullet because mm-hmm. they were just you know everybody who hunts deer wants the fifty caliber Powerbelt Aerolite. You know, mm-hmm. they um, shoot great, they work great, totally. Um, and the other ones, the tr- tradition Smackdown, really any of them, um, the carnivores, they're all fantastic deer bullets, and so I put them in there as well. But uh, basically, the thing that put me over the edge on the board driver was the our ballistic gel testing mm-hmm. last year. Yep. Like that really, like as accurate as they were for me, it's all about the performance because something could be super accurate but not perform. And the fact that it's really accurate and performs really well kind of took it to that sure. next level. So um, I don't really have much to disagree with you on there. I think the <laughs> only thing I would change was instead of the tradition SmackDown, I'd probably put my third runner up as the Thor. The Thor. Um, yeah. But again, there's other categories that we got to go through, which is why I did not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, because really, those are suited for a different category. That's totally, all I'm gonna say on that. Yeah, I agree. But other than that, I, I <laughs> completely agree with everything that you said. Other than I probably would put the Thor in there as my third choice. Man, we need more controversy. I right? know. I Nate, know. how dare you? Let pick me the, start uh, off <laughs> then with the elk hunting one, unless we both agree on I, that. Then I gonna... doubt you're gonna pick mine on this one. Ah, uh, go for it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, so elk hunting, I, best elk hunting bullet. I went with the ELR. Okay, okay, yeah, we disagree. So let's hear why. Um, basically, due to our ballistics testing, I mean, for what I want to use to shoot an elk, that thing did exactly what I would, you know, big energy dump right off the rip, mm-hmm. and then just a nice slug all the way through for penetration and mm-hmm. exit. You know, I'd use that on moose or. What about the moose, Darren? Oh, a moose. Man. We left the moose out. What about the antelope <laughs> what about and the, the bear? <laughs> Inside joke. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So the ELR, or and my runner-up was probably the uh, Power Belt Platinum uh, 338 grain. Yeah. Solid. Solid choices. <clears throat> um, I went with the. So I went. Power Belt Platinum was my third runner-up. Mm, okay. So Power Belt Platinum's so on there. We did Excellent. crossover some there. Yeah, a little crossover. Fantastic bullet, Power Belt Platinum. Power, Power Belt Platinum is one of those bullets that could win probably multiple. Yes. Um, yeah. And same with the ELR. Super accurate. Like, there's some bullets that are just really well-suited to a lot of different things. Yep. Yep. The Power Belt Platinum's one of them. Um, I chose the Barnes Spitfire. Mm, good um, choice. Good yeah. choice. This yeah. was, I think this was the same choice we made in our 2022 video of Best Bullets for mm-hmm. the Year, and... Um, I really like the Barnes designs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Thor uses a Barnes design. And the pedal oof, pedaling yeah. on those. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And they're all copper, um, which is just kind of nice. You know, I, I, people have different opinions on that kind of stuff. I like the all copper design. Um, so I, I really like the Barnes Spitfire. I think it, you have the TMZs, the TEZs. Uh, so you have a couple different Sabo options. So there's a little more versatility for your uh The Spitfire is a Sabo. Yes, bullet, yep. right? Mm-hmm. It is. Oh, so you just totally kicked that out of your Sabo category. I did. I have different. I have something else. Okay. My best right, sabotage right, bullet right, category. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I really think I think the Barnes Spitfire is pretty, pretty solid. Like I think it's just not. It's it's gonna you're gonna have the penetration. And for me, I think the biggest thing is weight retention. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. with the all copper design, you're gonna have way more weight retention than mm-hmm. with than with lead. And so that's so kind of my idea. I think that you're on the right track. And obviously you wanted a little more controversy, so we're going to have it. (laughs) Good, good. (laughs) I think that for me, like I said, that energy dump that you get, Mm -hmm. you know, you don't get as much weight retention with the ELR. Yeah. You're correct there. And you do get more weight retention with the Spitfire. Mm -hmm. But I want that big energy dump right off the rip for basically the blood trail. Sure, yeah. Right. Um, Which you're going to get with the... Spitfire only it's going to be on the exit side Mm -hmm. so it's really just that you're getting an opposite effect of what the elr has totally yeah so (laughs) either (laughs) no no wrong choice here nate likes his (laughs) on the first side i like mine on the second that's right you know (laughs) but yeah that's great option i think the biggest thing with elk is always for me at least weight retention um and penetration and Mm -hmm. you know you can't go wrong with the elr penetrates like crazy um but i the weight retention is kind of what put me over the edge okay. and right. yeah so my second runner up though was the thor lightning again um the lightning thor lightning ever since i started shooting those i much prefer them to the bore specific ones because the thor lightning technology has come such a long way mm-hmm. to where it's like 
every time you load it, it loads. You just get it started. Once you get it started, it just loads perfectly, yes. and it's got an excellent seal. Like, it's yep. just fantastic technology. So mm-hmm. um, I would go with the um, the Thor Lightning as my second because of the weight retention mm-hmm. and because of the design. So um, I think that about wraps us up for elk hunting. Um, I didn't draw my elk muzzleloader tag this year. I'm going to be rifle hunting elk this what year. What a so. pathetic loser. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> I really, the the, the muzzleloader elk hunt in Oregon sounds like a blast. Yes. It's like back country. Like, I'm still like waiting fun. to hear on my Idaho muzzleloader tag, so ooh, fingers crossed ooh. on that. If that Middle happens, September, I would really want to go with you and film that hunt. That sounds yep. like ama- yep. amazing. Uh, that's going to be a good one. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next category here. Best sabotaged bullet. Um, there's a million of them out there. Uh, two. Nate, why don't you lead off this one? Because I led last time. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. I, I think I, you led yeah, last I time. Why don't you, you go ahead and go. lead again? I don't even Are care. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, We're really, not doing this ladies back and forth thing? Oh. <laughs> well, then you should definitely go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went with a Spitfire. Okay. So we kind of had mixed, mixed emotions there. Interesting. Um, I did, as a side note, I did say that the Harvester White Lightning could be in that category. But, totally. again, I don't have the experience with that one, which is why I chose the Spitfire. Nice. Yeah. Um, I, go ahead. Typically, argue. I don't lean towards sabotaged bullets, personally. Mm-hmm. So, again, this is one of those ones where I went with the tried and true. I know it. Yeah. It works. It's phenomenal. Yep. Um, as Oregonians. Yeah, not really our place to speak on such things. Exactly, we get to <laughs> test them and play with them and practice with them at the range, but that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, I the Barnes Spitfire was my runner up. Mm. It was a good, good, excellent bullet. Oh, I you could, went the traditions bullet, didn't you? Yeah, so I went tradition Smackdown. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like the the sabos they use. Um, I think they they load really easy because they're. I think it's I think it's the Ridgeback. I don't want to get the name wrong. It's been a while since I've researched any of these names. Um. I've got a million medical terms swimming in my mind at all times. So <laughs> these muzzleloader terms have to take a back seat sometimes. But the, I think it's the Ridgeback Sabos. But basically, the, they, they're horizontally lined. So they, mm-hmm. they load really easy but still maintain a good seal. And um, the bullets perform really well. So for me, I, the emphasis on the best sabotaged bullet was more on the, on the Sabo than mm. on the bullet itself. Yeah. Um, because I think that, you know, you can – put any kind of bullet in a sabo and it's gonna you know you could this the sa- here's what i'm trying to say here you can, i know <laughs> what you're trying to say why don't you explain it for the people that are listening <laughs> <laughs> you can put like you could use a variety of bullets in a sabo so it's like that when i for the best savage bullet i wanted to choose um the the sabo that i like the most and i think that the traditions uses a really good sabo so you can pick your bullets and you can pick your sabos but you can't pick your sabos bullets i got gotcha. you <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let's let's move on. Full bore conical. I'll take the lead on this one. Yeah. Why don't you take the lead on this one? I'll let you do that. <laughs> uh, full bore conical. Uh, again, a million of them out there. You got different. Um, you got power belts. You have the Hornady bullets. You have just you have just regular lead bullets. You know, there's all kinds of. You got Thor. All kinds of full bore conical bullets here. Um, is where I'm going to let the Power Belt Platinum shine. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said before, it's one of those ones that could fit into many many different categories. Power Belt Platinum is one that we've recommended in customer service for pretty much everybody for forever. Mm-hmm. Um, it's excellent on elk, deer, whatever you want to use it on. It's super, super versatile. So Power Belt Platinum is going to get its uh, limelight time in the full bore conical side. So. Um, Runner-ups, I had Thor bullets, um, any of them, but again, the lightning are really kind of lights out. And then I, I put the ELDX in here. Uh, again, this it, the ELDX could win this category at some yep. point in time. Same with the board driver. I feel like the board driver FTX, I probably wouldn't wouldn't put as a winner in this category only because of uh, I think it's a little bit less versatile. I don't know that I would use it on elk as much mm-hmm. as I would deer, yeah. Yeah. like that, like yeah, I would. If you're do looking with the for an overall winner, that's. You know. Yeah, so I I think that the Betty Wise. Yes. <laughs> so I think the platinum uh is takes it home for me here. So Well, for those of you keeping track at home, this is the first time that we've agreed. <laughs> wow, really? No, I, we agreed also, on the deer hunt best deer hunting bullet we, we did. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yep. For those of you keeping track at home, you can just cut that part. <laughs> this is the second time we've agreed. No, um, 
I, I also put power about platinum. 338, to be specific. Yep. 338 grain. Yep. Um, make those good in choice. a couple different grains. Good, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Um, well, good play. Probably going with the Thor second, and then I would probably go with the Power Belt um, Arrow Light for a third choice. So a couple, couple Power Belts in that category, but again, there's so many in this category that could fit into there. But those are, I think, those are my top three choices. So again, yeah. Power Belt Platinum 338 just has a lot of versatility, like you said. So yeah, and and Power Belt kind of changed the game when it came mm-hmm. to those full bore conical bullets. So it's like you know they deserve to have their time in the sun yeah with that because that was Absolutely. i mean the when they came out with like the black belt back way back in the day you know like that was like the original before they were power belt and it's like that was just the new thing and then just kind of changed everything now, now that design is like everybody wants to do it so mm-hmm. um and it's an excellent design fantastic i know people have their opinions on power belts but you know I, in my You're opinion, entitled to that. Yeah, in my opinion, I think that this the scoreboard kind of speaks for itself. They yep. they really are an excellent bullet. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of the only bullets. I think we've got two bullets now that have been in the low, low, low single digit standard deviations. Mm-hmm. That's one of them. That yeah. was one of the first the platinum. Ones, actually. Yeah, yeah, that was like that was the first. The platinum was the first bullet we saw those numbers with mm-hmm. in our testing. So, um, so next we're gonna move on to uh, best Northwest legal, and this is our last category before getting to the best overall bullet and this is one that's kind of near and dear to our hearts living in the pacific northwest the greatest place in the united states um you can almost guarantee we're both gonna agree on this one yep i said thor lightning uh yeah it's pretty hands down thor lightning is kind of it's kind of what do you say easy the easy button button. it's the easy button yeah (laughs) so the easy button in the in the uh in muzzle loading for hunting in in oregon Mm -hmm. um you're going to get fantastic performance on elk, fantastic performance on deer. It's yep. very accurate. Um, weight retention, the whole nine yards is way the better. Gambit. Especially when you consider the other option, which is just a lead slug, yep. you know, or it's a round like, ball. or a round ball. And it's yep. like, that's really, I mean, you can't even talk about anything else really, I don't think. And then for Idaho, I put an Idaho thing in here um, because Idaho, you can't use the Thor. Because yep. they have their pure lead rules, and there I put the power belt pure lead because again, it's just better. You know, it's like it's literally over the PA conical. I uh, yeah yeah absolutely, hmm. yeah I think. Uh, did you pick PA conical for that? No. Oh, interesting. Just curious. Yeah, I th- I think that the I think that the the power belt design it takes just a lead slug, which is all you can really use based on the regulations, mm-hmm. and makes it better by putting the the plastic yeah. um, base on it. You yeah. know, so you at least have better gas seal and stuff like that. That's so. true. That's my argument for that, but Makes there's sense. not much controversy here. No, it's pretty straight and forward. Unfortunately, in Oregon, <laughs> not there's a lot not to, a lot of options. Not a lot to discuss there. <laughs> Nate and I did decide, you know, as if you listen to that podcast, to uh, hamstring ourselves and uh, use round balls and flintlocks yes. last year. <laughs> yes, we did do that. And that happened. That was a thing. This year is the year of redemption. Yep, we both threw the not same tag again. again. So we're gonna we're gonna do better this year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a perfectly placed shot on a deer, and sometimes that just isn't good enough with a round ball and a flint lock. Yeah, moving at like 900 feet a second. And you had a perfectly placed shot on a deer, and then it didn't go off. Yeah, yeah. In, a, <laughs> in a snowstorm. In a snowstorm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flakes like this big. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, I PTS. Yeah, just I rehearsing, rehearsing <laughs> these bad, these bad <laughs> <laughs> the deer that could have been. Um, and then best overall bullet. This is, I'll let you, why don't you say yours first? This is a drum roll, please. Okay, moment. I went out on a limb here. Ooh, out on a limb. Out on a limb. Hopefully it doesn't break. A uh, branch. Big branch. I went out on a big branch. Big branch. A, a, a solid limb. Solid limb. Went out there, but it's, it's checked first. And I think I'm going to go with the ELDX. Wow. Even though I don't have the experience with it yet, the little experience I have with it, I am very optimistic. I mean, tomorrow... Yeah will be a big tell for yeah. sure. Nate's really hanging his neck out here. I am very much so. This could come back to absolutely bite me in the rear end. But I think it's unlikely. I think it's <clears throat> very likely that the ELDX – the LDX is like the up-and-coming rookie quarterback. Yep. It's that like – put all your money on. Yeah, it's like you t- you picked him with your 1-1 one, one pick, and yep. he's – you know, you're like, this guy is going to – he's going to succeed, yeah. you know. Yep. It's like yep. the Patrick Mahomes pick. You're just like, That's he's right. going to do it, and he does. So. <laughs> That's right. 
That's how I feel about the ELDX. Going out, all out on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I went with the ELR. So both places <laughs> where you, you picked the ELDX, I picked the ELR because yep. yep. I think the ELR, what we saw in our ballistic testing last year, the ELR, uh, it performed. You're going to use it on elk. You're going to use it on deer. It's the good long-range bullet. It's not going to suck at close range. Yep. It's just good all over the place. And um, also, for me, what really put the ELR over the top was the caliber diversity. Mm-hmm. So you have 45, 50, um, and if you're really lucky, you might find some 40s lying around someplace. I will say that is one spot that the ELDX is uh, probably a little... Yes. It only comes in 50. And that's always been one of my struggles is, is that the Hornady bullets, um, they have like their 50, their 45 caliber sabotage rounds, mm-hmm. but all the, you know, the, the FTX and the ELDX are both only available in 50 caliber which um, I would personally love to see them introduce new calibers. I think the yeah, ELDX forty five is like, the new fifty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think that the uh, the ELDX in a forty five would just be l- money, just yeah. be so oh, good. Yeah. Um, so maybe one of these days, anybody from Hornady, if you're listening, we would love to see that. But uh, that's right, forty five cal. Yes, for 283. now, 283.5 <laughs> grains. Two hundred eighty three point five. It's a very specific number. I just yes. pulled that out of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in your brain, that that's number right. was that's, rolling that's around. That's the number. That's the one. It's the secret sauce. Yeah. Yeah. For now, though, I'm going to give it to the ELR. ELR is, has proven itself to... Uh, you can give it to the ELR you want. I'm giving it to the LDX. You go for it. You go for it. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll see. Tomorrow will be the the real test. Um. So, yeah. Nate, I appreciate you coming up with all these last minute. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so just, just throw me under the bus there. <laughs> last, minute. well, I I kind of came up with the last minute too. <laughs> this whole operation was kind of like a let's do some podcasts and get some stuff going. So, but um, it's pretty easy to come up with last minute yeah. when you've got as much experience as we do shooting these. Exactly. Things, so. For me, it was like if I had, if I had fifteen years to think about this, I wouldn't really change any of the answers I chose. I kind of mm-hmm. have a running list of all these things mm-hmm. in my head all the time. So, um, but just remember. That's it. Just remember. <laughs> I've got much more experience than Darren does, so That's pick true. my bullets. That's true, yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, like with our last category, we're going to post Nate's list and my list in the comments below, and uh, you guys can vote on which list you like better. Let's make it fun. Who's the winner? Who's the winner here? Who picked the better bullets? <laughs> Was it me or Darren? The winner will brag about it for all eternity. That's right. So. That's right. <laughs> Bragging rights for all eternity. Yes. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed listening to our podcast today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening on just an audio platform, leave a review because it really helps out the show. And we'll see you guys on the next episode.